because I was curious and bored. Here's a quick strength test of Loctite. Threadlocker, Red 271, High Strength Formula. Comparing its thread locking strength on 38 by 16 zinc plated nuts and bolts to 38 by 24, which are the same size but with more teeth per inch, 1 half by 13, which have a larger diameter and nut thickness but fewer teeth per inch, and finally 38 by 16 coupling nuts, which have the same diameter and teeth per inch but has three times more thickness. All the nuts and bolts were cleaned with grease and wax remover and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Loctite 271 was applied to a 38 by 16 bolt. A nut was threaded on and torqued to 11 foot pounds. Loctite 271 was applied again and a loose nut was threaded on. The same process was repeated on 38 by 24 nuts and bolts. We'll see if more teeth per inch makes a difference. The process was then repeated on the 1 half by 13 nuts and bolts. We'll see if a larger diameter and thickness, but fewer teeth per inch, makes a difference. And finally, the 3 8 by 16 coupling nut. Let's see how much of a difference 3 times the thickness matters. 5 samples of each were assembled and cured for 24 hours. Now the fun part. We'll measure the breakaway and prevailing torques on the loose nuts, and then the loaded nuts. I know that many of you cringe when I say foot pounds, but that is what I was taught and I'm just stubborn. First up is the breakaway torque on a 3 8 by 16 unloaded nut. Breakaway torque is the force needed to break a fixed fastener loose and start rotation. In this case, 17.9 foot pounds. Prevailing torque is the force needed to continue rotating the fastener after it has been broken loose. For this sample, 14.9 foot pounds. The same process was repeated for the loaded nut. Loaded breakaway, 17.4 foot pounds. Loaded prevailing, 10 foot pounds. Looks like the thread locker was fully cured. Next, 3 8 by 24. Unloaded breakaway, 12.8 foot pounds. Unloaded prevailing, 8 foot pounds. Loaded breakaway, 13.8. Loaded prevailing, 6.8. Looks fully cured also. Now 1 half by 13. Unloaded breakaway, much higher at 34.1 foot pounds. Unloaded prevailing, also much higher at 27.3 foot pounds. Loaded breakaway 31.8. Loaded prevailing 29.3. Appears to be fully cured too. Finally, 3 8 by 16 coupling nut. Loaded breakaway 33.3 foot pounds. Loaded prevailing. 31.1 foot pounds. Again, looks fully cured. And the full results. First, the unloaded breakaway torques. We'll remove the high and low values and then average the remaining values. Compared to the 3 8 by 16 average, the 3 8 by 24 average was 3 foot pounds lower and the 1 half by 13 was more than double. Wow. Next, the unloaded prevailing torques. We will again remove the high and low values, then average the remaining values. Again, compared to the 3 8 by 16 average, the 3 8 by 24 average was lower, and the 1 half by 13 was almost double. I see a trend starting. Now the loaded breakaway torques. Remove the high and low values, and average the remaining values. Compared to the 3 8 by 16 average, the 3 8 by 24 average was slightly lower, and both the 1 half by 13 and 3 8 by 16 coupling knot averages were one and a half times greater. Finally, the loaded prevailing torques. Remove the high and low values again and average the remaining values. Compared to the 3 8 by 16 average, the 3 8 by 24 average was again lower, and both the 1 half by 13 and 3 8 by 16 coupling knot averages were more than double. So, compared to the 3 8 by 16 nuts and bolts torque averages, 
the average 3 8 by 24 breakaway and preventing torques with more threads per inch were consistently lower. The average 1 half by 13 breakaway and preventing torques with more surface area and thread locker were consistently over 1.5 times greater. And the average 3 8 by 16 coupling knot loaded torques also with more surface area and thread locker were consistently over 1.5 times greater too. On to the next video.